Hello there, and welcome to my channel. I am Elle Firespray, and today I'll be testing the new dipping inks by Green Stuff World. I'll be using some of the minis that I use for color testing. They are primed with a black primer first, and then sprayed from the top with a white primer, creating what it's called Cenothal Highlights. I'll begin with the orange and brown inks. As you will see, some of these paints are translucent, while there are other ones that are rather opaque. The inks come in bottles of 16 milliliters, which are pretty large in comparison to 18 mil from other brands. And they are actually, and they actually cost less at five dollars and eleven cents a bottle as of August 2022. But are these really worth it? Hope these help you. Uh, this helps you decide. A uh, little bit of a disclaimer here: I have received these inks from Green Stuff World for free for reviewing. Uh, but I don't receive any monetary compensation or work for Green Stuff World. So with that out of the way, let's continue with the color testing. There are 24 paints total in this range and I'm using Cenothal Prime Minis because that's mostly what I use when I paint. And I wanted to see how these inks look with them. If you're interested in watching how these paints will look in, with different primers, including metallic, make sure to check out Killer's Paint Jobs video as she did a wonderful job in her review and I'll post the link in the description below. It might seem a bit tedious or repetitive to watch all these colors one by one, but I think it's a good idea to get a good first impression of the colors to see them, uh, what they do or what they look like on the palette and then onto the model. Some of these colors surprised me and some of them were not very impressive, but I guess it all depends also on what kind of project you use this for. At the end of the video, I'll show you what each and every color looks like when tried.
and now on to the blues actually these are probably my favorite ones from uh, the whole range because they look amazing and they were actually really fun to use they have quite a few different shades of blue and they're all really really pretty as I was testing these I was wondering if I could uh, wet blend them and you can I've actually done a twitch stream too about these paints and I was surprised at how well they blend together so I am using here some of the cool blue dip in magenta and uh, it's fairly, fairly nicely blended here As you can see, some of these have incredible coverage. They look so good and they cover so well and so fast. I didn't realize the name of this one wasn't showing, but this is Garnet Purple. And the previous one was Nightshade Purple. Uh, my chroma key was a bit off, so you couldn't really see the shade exactly on camera, but hopefully you can see it 
later on during the pictures. Black Shadow Deep was the only one that was, I don't know, a little disappointed or confused because it looks green to me and I was expecting something grayish or dark in color or black. I used it on stream and I was really confused <laughs> but it is on a greenish, uh, it dries like a grayish green but it's definitely not black. I decided to add a second layer of paint on the right side of every mini so you'll be able to see what it looks like with one layer of paint versus two layers. Some of them you can't even notice the difference. So here is the finished result. You can see every single mini dried and they're absolutely matte on their finish. They are, some of them cover more than others. Some of them get in the recesses more than others. Some of them you need more than one layer. Some of them you don't. But all in all, for $5.11 as of August 2022, for a 60ml bottle of this, um, it's very much worth it, in my opinion.
and that's it. I hope this gave you a quick overview on how these new dipping inks by Green Stuff World look like on Cinefold Prime miniatures. Again, my name is Elle Firespray and you can find me on Twitch on Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Which color was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below as well as any question that you may have. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, pay more minis.